Since similar triangles are scale models of each other, we can use the scale factor to find unknown sides. Let's jump right into an example. Find the length of side XY in triangle XYZ. Triangle ABC and triangle XYZ have the same angles, so we know that they are similar. Let's find the scale factor first, assuming triangle ABC is the original. We can pick either triangle to be the original, as long as we remember our choice. Look at the position of the angles to find the corresponding sides. We know the length of side AB and side YZ, and those two sides are corresponding, so we can use them to find the scale factor. Triangle XYZ has been scaled by a factor of one half. Now, which side in triangle ABC corresponds to the side that we want to find? It's AC. We multiply the length of AC, which is 14, by the scale factor of one half, and we get 14 over 2, which is 7. So, XY is 7 units long. How about we try another one? What is the length of side PQ? Pause the video if you want to try it out on your own first. I'm going to decide that triangle DEF is the original triangle. If you chose the other one, don't worry. We should get the same answer in the end. I choose to find the scale factor using EF and QR, which are corresponding because they are both between the same angles. Throw them in that old formula, and I get 7 over 5, and use my calculator to see that we have a scale factor of 1.4. Which side is corresponding to PQ? It's DE. So we multiply the length of DE, which is 8, by the scale factor. We get 11.2, so PQ is 11.2 units long. In summary, to find an unknown side, our steps are pick one triangle to be the original, find a pair of corresponding sides that you know the length of, use the scale factor formula to find the scale factor, and then multiply the corresponding side of the unknown by the scale factor.